What's going on, campers? Camp Face it here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about what I feel should possibly be reworked in this game. Let me, before I even talk about that, let me just talk about how much of a blast it, this game has been since it came out last Friday. Absolutely amazing. I'm having so much fun playing with my friends, even with randoms. Uh, I've, I've been playing a lot of uh, victims and family, about half and half. One major thing that I feel needs to change in this game, in order to keep this game scary, it's got to stay unbalanced. It's got to be in favor of the family. And I don't mean like completely overpowered with the family. I'm just saying it's you always got to keep the family the threat because once victims, once those players that are playing the victim characters start uh, trolling and running in circles around the family and running out the back door and escaping every damn match, then it, it becomes not fun because this game is supposed to be a horror movie game. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like in the original 1974 film, Sally was the only one that escaped. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> no one no one survived. It The threat was the family, the Sawyer, the Slaughters. They were the threat. It's a horror movie. So when you're playing this game, the mechanics of this game is intended to be scary the way it's set up. But what I have noticed since uh, the game has launched is that really sweaty competitive players out there are learning the map, the map locations of, of all the item locations, the, the generators, uh, the battery, all the exits, the, the layout of the maps. They, the players are really good like that. Like kids are remembering things like really fast. And the problem with that is if you're playing family and you're going to do your job like to lock the back gates if you're if you're uh, the cook and you're putting padlocks on the doors or on the certain gates to exits and let's say you're the the hitchhiker trapping um, the generator and you're bubba down the basement on breaking barricades and doing your job the players are already like slipping through and speed running these maps you guys they're they're doing it like nonstop so much that it, it's very frustrating and and they'll they could slip right by and I've seen squads run out the back door before I even had a chance to lock the back door and 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 that's a problem here. I I feel as if a lot of people could say, well, you just got to get good and you got to do swap up your gameplay, but I'm telling you guys, players are really fast. They're they're picking up too fast because they remember where everything is located. And I do know there is um, different locations, but there, I, I believe there's only two different locations for the generator on the family house map. Well, my idea was I, I, I'm kind of hoping Gun makes it so they uh, they swap up the locations a little bit more. Maybe add five more different locations to everything. Maybe even change some of the halls in the basement and doors to go upstairs because right now as it stands, everyone knows right where the doors are located. They pretty much know where the toolboxes are. And like I said, the match starts, the running, they're doing it. They're out the back door before you even have a chance. And it's not fun like that because that's making the victims the threat, not the family. So I really do hope that Gunn considers or at least looks into this issue and makes it so the family is always the threat. And I'm not saying that because I'm a family uh, main. I don't even really play family that much. I like to play victim because I like to be scared and immersed in, in the moment. So I'm saying this because I want it to be hard. It needs to be hard. It needs to stay hard. And players are always going to get better and better and, and they're going to run high end perks and they're going to get squads together and there's speed runners, like I said, which is doesn't make sense to me speed running because you're just you're making all this noise, but it seems to work for a lot of players. And like I said, they're getting out too fast. And I think the only way to fix this is if gun makes um, locations a lot like a lot more locations in random spots so they can't memorize this game. That's the thing. Players, are they shouldn't memorize any of this stuff. It should be really hard to memorize and, and be really confused and disoriented at all times. But it's it's people are memorizing this stuff too much, you guys, already. It's, 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 it's become more like, oh, the family house, I know right where to go. Boom, 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 and it's done. So I really hope that uh, something can be done with this to keep the game on, on the 
in favor of the family and make it scary and keep it scary. Um, don't get me wrong. There's there's a lot of times where I'm family running the family and I'm killing. I'm wiping out the teams, but th that could be new players. I'm talking about uh, the players jumping into the matches, they're running squads, and they know exactly where everything's located, and that's very frustrating. So um, that's it so far. I mean, I'm loving the game. The game is amazing. It's, I, I, I've had a blast all weekend. I can't wait to keep playing it. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys uh, let, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys have anything that you would want to change with this game? Um, what do you think about my idea? Are you guys running into the same problem? If so, leave a comment below. Let's discuss. Let's talk. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.